So just a really quick update about the hydrofoil. Um, this is the electronic stuff that's going to go into the board with the two relays, um, an Arduino Nano, and a little 2.4 gigahertz micro uh, 2.4 gigahertz uh, wireless communication chip kind of thing, uh, and this display here. And we've got this bundle of temperature sensors that are going to be in the board. And I've got this running, so it shows me the temperatures of the VESC, of the motor, of the batteries, and of the connector, but this can be changed later on to the enclosure or something like this. And here I've got the remote part, so we've got another Arduino Nano and uh, another 2.4 GHz chip, uh, two buttons, and then one more button. And this is all going to go in here. This is a little prototype remote that I did today. Um, so we've got the trigger in here, this is all 3D printed. This is the on-off switch, so this will turn on the Arduino, so all of this is going to go in here. And here we've got two buttons that I don't know yet what I'm going to use them for. One could be to just disconnect the batteries, like an emergency thing, and the other one could be a cruise control. So I pull the trigger to here, then press this so I can let go of the trigger, and it keeps the speed, but then what happens if I let go of this? I need to find the right position here. And, uh, I'm not quite 100% happy with this yet. Uh, the shell is a little bit too thin. I need to make this thicker because uh, if you can see here, this is not that great. Uh, the trigger needs more pressure. So this is quite soft at the moment. And apart from that, I'm quite happy. Maybe these uh, roundovers will be a little bit bigger so it's a bit more, a bit more ergonomical. But I can reach these two buttons. That's a good thing, and yeah, happy with that. And all of this stuff fits in there. Looks a bit complicated, yeah. New video should be up soon. And here's a question for you guys. How much detail would you like about the electronic stuff? Because there's really a lot to this. There's the code, there's all these connections. Look at the back of the board. Um, you don't want me to explain all of this, right? Uh, I think what I'm going to do is just point out the basic components here. All the code will be on the instructable anyway for you guys, so if you want to copy this, and obviously also these files, but uh, you know, how to actually connect all the stuff. Do you want to know this? Do you want to know the details and how the code works? I can do it, of course, but only if you guys are interested in it. And if you have a specific topic about the hydrofoil that you want to know about, uh, just leave a comment in the comments below and I'll try to include it in the next video. And lastly, this guy, Jacklobe1217, he wanted a shout out, so here it is. Thanks for subscribing and also thanks to my free supporters on Patreon. I really appreciate it. Thanks guys. My name is Max Maker and I make all kinds of stuff.